Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss further into applications of integrals and now look further into probability and this time go over the concept of a median. Uh, basically in my last video on probability average values example 2 I showed that 37% of people are expected to wait longer than the average or mean waiting time of 5 minutes in that example. You can see that video link below. Basically, if this is the average, again, uh, recall it the average, you could write this as uh, the average or mean using the Greek, Greek letter mu, looks like that. So even though it's five minutes, and uh, again, what is interesting is that the average wait time doesn't necessarily have to mean 50% of the callers wait longer than, while 50% wait shorter than this average. So as you can see, 37% wait longer. And this is because the mean depends on the total time waited by all the callers. Thus, if someone waits very long, because again, you're dealing with time, not the number of people, uh, like directly, this can bring the average up if someone waits really long, while not necessarily affecting the percentage of callers waiting that long. For example, let's go over a quick example. Consider the case where three people call one minute while one person waits uh, five minutes. Yeah, so if three people wait one minute, so the average is going to be, let's call this mu or the mean, is going to be the total, um, the total time waited, which is, well, three times one minute. So that's three people times one minute plus, and then we have one person times it by five minutes right here. And then divided by the total number of people. Yeah, now the total number of people is going to be, well, three plus one. That's Three people wait one minute, one person wait five minutes. So we have in this case, three times one is just three, one times five is eight, I mean it's just five, so five plus three is eight, divided by four, this equals to two minutes right here. So right now we have two minutes is the average, and you can look at the units, this is three people, times minute, divided by people, you get just minutes. Just Anyways, that's just uh, extra stuff. So even though this is two minutes right here, and now if you look at that, uh, the number of people one out of four wait longer than this average. Wait longer than the average mu, which is two minutes. So in other words, you could write one out of four equals to, well, 0.25, 25%. Because you have one person waiting five minutes and then three people waiting one minute. So one out of these four people wait longer than two minutes. Yeah, and as you can see, even in this case, you have uh, you don't have a 50-50 split. But now, yeah, let's say if that one person, instead of waiting five minutes, waited 37 minutes. Just to show you how the average can change without this percentage changing. Just to, It's pretty straightforward, but just to clarify it further. So three times one minute times one person times 37 minutes, and again it's three plus one, which is four, this is the average. So the total time waited, this is three plus 37, that's 40 over four, which equals to cancels, that is 10 minutes. So, yeah, that's 10 minutes, but nothing changes in terms of the percentage of people waiting longer. But still, we have 25% uh, waiting longer. So the average doesn't, doesn't uh, depend directly on the number of people waiting longer than uh, or less than the average. So still 25% waiting longer than the average, which is 10 minutes. One person waited 37, one out of four. Three people waited less, waiting longer than, than uh, the average or mean, so mu. Yeah, so now this brings us to another measure of centrality, or yeah, basically looking for the center uh, like numbers of a probability density function, and that is the median, which is exactly what we were alluding to, and the median is a number m such that half the callers have a waiting time less than m, and the other callers have a waiting time longer than m. So it doesn't directly depend on the time, and this one's more uh, directed to the number of callers. And in general, the median of a probability density function is the number m such that, well, you could write this out as the integral from m to infinity or anything larger than m of the probability density function f of x dx, this equals 2. 
and this equals to one half. So the right side of this uh, probability density function, I mean of this number m, of the probability density function has to equal to one half because the total area is equal to one, as I explained in my earlier video. Or if you're looking at the left side of it, you can go negative infinity all the way to m. So everything left of m, f, f of x dx, this also equals to one half. So the total is going to be uh, one. And again, just to reiterate, uh, this means that half the area under the graph of the probability density function f lies to the right of m and the other half to the left of uh, m. And if you were to draw this out, it would look something like this. Say this is x, this is y. Let's say you had a probability density function. Let's say it was thicker at the, that side there and it goes down something like that. So you would obviously have this shifted over if you were to look at the half. So it's based on area. So if this is y equals to f of x, which is our, d, uh, our PDF, which is our probability density function, if you just look at this, if you're trying to split the area in half, it would look something like this. It would probably be more to the left because this is higher than this. So this would be m. And then again, to the right side of this, I'll draw this in red. So this area all the way underneath, this area is equal to one half when you have the median is m like that and to the left we'll draw this in blue so in blue this area here is equal to one half as well and the total area has to obviously equal to one because it's a probability density function anyways that is all for today hopefully you'll learn from this uh, pretty interesting video on the median and the need to uh, find some different centrality uh, measure as opposed to strictly the average because the average is again dependent on the time weighted but if you want to deal more of the centrality of the number of uh, number of people or the number of the sample size etc the median might be a better um, a better measure for whatever you're doing anyways that's all for today uh, hopefully you learned like always get down all these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution